They say a gypsy without a horse isn't a gypsy. And five years ago, this Wellington watering hole was a new Irish pub without a name, but not for long. The owners took this place over. One of them found an old picture uh, hanging up in the bathroom, and he wanted to frame from it. And when he pulled it out, he found an old, I guess, painting itself, and it was of a gypsy pulling a carriage. So, and then our, our logo is a horse drinking a Guinness at a bar. So they just kind of put two and two together and they came up with the gypsy's horse. It's not the easiest place to find, with an entrance almost directly behind the Wellington Commons Mall, a separate one inside the mall, and of course another one for the little people. But the Gypsy Horse Pub has still found plenty of loyal customers in the Western community. Or should I say the customers have found them? Because of, it's one of the only places around that is an Irish theme. The prices are very reasonable. They do serve very good food. Doesn't that look tasty? You should taste that barbecue sauce. It's homemade. Our food's very good. It's very consistent here. It's, it's always good. Everything's made from scratch here. Everything's homemade. We don't bring anything in except for the product we cook itself. Um, you know, just I think it's consistency. We're just a very home, homey place. You know, people feel very comfortable here. As do the employees. Bar manager Gino has been here for almost five years, and bartender Richard even longer, from day one, in fact. The owners here are great to work for. You know, they're, they're caring, they take care of you. They're like family to me. They, they literally are like family. I mean, it's just, and it's that kind of place. What are you creating here? A black velvet. And why is it a black velvet? It's got cider and Guinness in it. Western Executives, a business networking group, was having a friendly mixer while we were there, giving the beer guy a chance to brush up on his social skills while discussing the finer points of a perfectly poured pint of Guinness Stout. We started it just to get or help maybe some business owners or executives to stimulate the economy. I'm going to help you by introducing you to other business owners to get you maybe some work or a job. I kind of like this job, enjoying the rustic atmosphere of an authentic Irish pub while sipping a few of their 21 beers on tap. There's also plenty of room outside in the beer patio to relax in the night air, and they are in the process of expanding, adding a room for darts, pool tables, and video games for the kids. So despite the slow economy, the gypsy's horse seems to be pulling the wagon along just fine. You know, I just hope we just keep growing, you know, growing with Wellington. Wellington just seems to be getting bigger and bigger, and I just hope we just keep growing and our clientele keeps growing and uh, we keep our customers very happy and satisfied. I'm the beer guy, Dan Oliver, and here's to networking with you at the next Watering Hole. Yeah.